in this video i am going to discuss a new paper which is called as chip nemo the objective of this paper is to explore the application of llms for industrial chip design this is achieved without directly deploying commercial llms but rather utilizing domain adaptation techniques through custom tokenizer domain adaptive pre training supervised fine tuning with domain specific instructions and domain adapted retrieval models Nvidia's approach in developing Chip Nemo involved using Llama 2 as a foundational LLM, supplemented by domain-specific pre-training on proprietary and public chip design data. This was then followed by supervised fine-tuning or SFT using general data sources like OASD, PLAN, P3, and specialized instruction data, resulting in 7 billion and 13 billion models. Moreover. a domain specific tokenizer and retrieval augmented generation were implemented to reduce inaccuracies and enhance the relevance of the model's output the main issue which models face these days in this regard is that typical llms are not well suited for specialized tasks like chip design more often than not they produce irrelevant or inaccurate information and integrating proprietary data into these model is really challenging even with rag This mismatch limits their usefulness in fields that require high precision like semiconductor design. If you go into their paper, you will see that on various benchmarks, this chip Nemo 7 billion and 13 billion have performed really well. Now, one thing they have found here, found out is that the a larger learning rate significantly decreases performance on all language related tasks. but slightly improves the coding so there are lot of other things when they have done this result for example uh, as a result chip chip nemo is currently used with nvidia for tasks like eds script generation and generating assistance through chatbots and bug analysis the results also clearly demonstrates that superior performance in chip design tasks compared to the baseline llama models so it's a really good sort of custom approach the chip nemo i mean in applying ai to semiconductor design offering improved productivity and decision making accuracy in this highly specialized field i'll drop the link to this paper in video's description so that if you're interested in uh, seeing how exactly this chip nemo works for chip design by using generative ai then you could follow along and heads off to all of these researchers a really wonderful work i would say So that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions please put it in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much